thought I'd do a short video to explain why you have to trim something like this rather than just be able to set it on your table and then crank it. When you when you put your indicator on a stationary object like I have here and crank the table, you're not actually measuring whether this is perpendicular to that stem. You have to get that uh, stem. The uh, spindle. You have to get this perpendicular to the spindle. If I put this indicator on a stationary spot and I trim this. Now that needle's moving a little bit. That's because I'm uh, hoping you can see that. Let me bring you in a little bit. Okay. See that needle's moving a little bit because I'm just because I'm cranking it. But if you watch okay it's actually staying on zero. It's just bouncing as I go because there's play in the gibbs and different things. But basically it's staying at zero as I'm cranking. But I'm not measuring perpendicular the perpendicularity I guess would be the word of the table to this spindle. The best way for me to demonstrate that would be to throw it out a little bit. And I really hate doing that. Let me try this first. We get this indicator out of the way. And I got this little slide I made up from my camera. Okay. So if I put this, I put this on the table. Let me take it back so you can see everything. Alright, I put this little slide on the table. Here's a block. The block's the T nut. It measures uh, 11 sixteenths thick. So let's put this 11, 11 sixteenths thick way out here on the end. Okay. Now it's obvious. It's obvious that that is not parallel. Okay. All right. Hopefully that's facing you again, and you can see that. Now let me zero it. Now, it's obvious that that's on an angle, but see the needle staying the same? Now, now this isn't a crank. If I had a crank on it, just visualize it with a crank on it. You see how it's staying still? What I'm actually, what this gauge is actually reading is the parallel between the bottom of this plate and, and this slide, which as you can see, it's, it's remaining parallel. Now if I were to lock that thing and turn the handle, then it would show off because this, this is moving parallel to it. So now it's changing with, with that. But if I go here, you see how it's doing? But I get the impression that's still not going to be enough. So let me take and... Um, Put it back. Okay. I'll put that back on there. Re zero it up. Okay. So, right now, other than the movement, other than that little bit of movement, you can see that it's pretty much staying right on zero. The whole thing's flimsy. Okay. And my machine is not bolted down, which it's going to be soon. But the only way for me to really show you is to go ahead and, and knock it out a little bit. So let me do that. I'll loosen the nut. Okay. And I'll give it a little bump. Okay. Now, we know that that table is out of is out of perpendicular. It's no longer perpendicular with the spindle. But watch if I let me put it back on zero. 
and put zero straight up that'd probably be the best way and um, get it on there and maybe get it facing you a little bit better okay so there's zero okay So you see it's a zero, it's staying pretty much at zero. If I let go of it, as I say, a lot of that's this. The the Lugibs aren't they're tight, but they're not that tight. But it's moving uh, but it's moving straight across because all I'm really measuring is the parallelness between the bottom of this and the top of this. The bottom of the XY table to the top of the XY table. So now, all right. So let me recenter my table. Put this back on there. So now I'm only going to concentrate on side to side. So the the longer distance you can get, the more accurate you're going to be. So let me make sure I got enough. Yeah, I'm good. I could actually go a little more. Okay. So I'll bring this down till it just touches. I know I'm way off because I tilted it. See, I'm a, I'm a quarter of an inch. Um, let me see if I can zoom that in. This under this table is this under this indicator is there's a quarter of an inch gap on this side. So I can see that, so there's no sense in even trying to trim it yet. So let me loosen the nut back up and re trim the table. Okay. So I know that side, this side's got to go down. Just get it close by the eyeball. That looks close. Let's snug it back just a little bit. Actually, I've got a mark on there I made the other day that I could go by. No, uh, because it looks like it's it looks like it's right on right now. So let me take the indicator down till it touches on this side. So uh, I'm reading ten now. I'm reading about six. About six. Okay, and on this side, the same place, I'm reading 26. So let me bring. So that's higher over there. I've gone too far. You get a plastic mallet. Apparently, I've gone too much this way. All right, let's bring her back. About 20 on that side. It's reading 20 on that side. It's reading 7 on this side. And loose that wrench just a little bit. And it's 10 here, 12 here maybe, and 8 there. Okay. So. Alright, looks like it's on five. Going too far. Okay. Reading about nine. Eleven. And ten. That's going to be close enough. We lock that wrench down. And for all intents and purposes, we're at 10 on that side also. We'll go back with this stationary indicator. Now you saw that, now you saw that when it was out. There's zero right there. Okay. So, now we're back at zero. And hopefully you'll be able to see that when I cranked it before, 
with the table out, it was out a quarter of an inch, that needle stayed zero. Now I've got it back level and it's running it's running level so you can't tell if you just throw an indicator up there and you say oh okay it was it stayed zero all the way across and it could actually be out your you could still not be per perpendicular the best way to make sure is to put a good straight pin in there square square butt and push that right up again and you can see if you don't have an indicator this would be one way to get it very very close uh, but that's the reason why you have to that's the reason why you have to tram an item like this and like I say the further the further you can get it to reach out your indicator this could you could actually tram with this okay now that it's got uh, can actually trim it with this now but I won't be able to show you because the the dial is going to be around the back but what I can do okay so I have it set over here now and I put it on zero I've got a pretty good bit of indicator on it so I gotta redrop it over here and it's reading zero so that's perfect so I'm gonna let that go anyway I hope that explained why you have to you have to do this. You have to get two points that are on this axis. You have to measure two points that are on this ax axis and the further apart the better and that way you know that the spindle is perpendicular to the top of the table. Now if the table doesn't go level then there's something wrong with the table. Well, I hope that explains a little bit why you have to tram something like that rather than just putting an indicator on it and cranking it cranking it across there and I got a little bonus from making the video uh, these two little clamps were missing and I spied them in the video while I was making it so I put them back in with the rest of them alright well I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching